Hi everyone and welcome back to Lily's Every Day. Today for dinner I'm making lasagna and this is the recipe I would like to share with you of my families that I love and it is a very nice recipe because you can use any type of seasoning that you want. You can also add mushrooms to it, whatever you wish to do, it's up to you. This is simply the one that I use for our family. Uh, this is ground beef, we're going to be using 80-20, about 2 pounds, a little bit over. I'm going to be using nine of the lasagna shells, salt and pepper for seasoning, traditional style Italian sauce, garlic powder and onion powder, as well as our mozzarella. All right, for my lasagna, I'm going to get started by mincing it down the meat and cooking it. And uh, what I like to do is add about a half a cup of water to the pot as uh, opposed to doing it with oil. I just think this is a little bit of a healthier option. It is lasagna after all, and it cuts down on the oil immensely like this too. So as you cook it, you want to definitely break up the meat and you want to constantly stir it after you break it up so that it actually minces the meat um, and you don't have clumps this way. And this is a good point. Once the water starts to boil a little bit, for you to add your seasonings to the dish as well. We'll be right back. The water started to boil and this is what I mean. You want this nice minced meat. Um, you want to break it up with your spatula when you have the meat and the water together so that it does not clump up. I've also added some paprika um, to this flavoring. It's going to give it a nice smoked taste and a nice um, red color to this. I'm also going to add my garlic powder and the onion powder now. About a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of each. Kind of eyeball it to about a palmful of each. I'll do two. We like this stuff. And the salt is going to be about two teaspoons, which is two palmfuls. Basically, you want the salt to be one teaspoon per pound and the black pepper is going to be about a teaspoon and a half or about a two pound meat. And I'm going to just cook this down until the water has completely evaporated and I'll be right back to show you the results. While the meat was cooking, I have also cooked uh, the lasagna shells in boiling water according to the package directions. After it's done, I'm going to go ahead and drain out the water and then wash it down with some cold water to stop it from cooking. And then I can actually handle it while I build the lasagna. We'll be right back. All right, our meat is ready. Our lasagna shells have been cooked and I've drained the water and also uh, rinsed them with cold water so it's easy for us to handle. You want three of your lasagna shells um, that are cooked underneath. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our sauce, just spread it along the shell, depending on how much you like. Our family tends to be on the lighter sauce side. Like that and then just use the back of your spoon to spread it along like that. Then we're going to go ahead and do a layer of our mozzarella. Give it a nice layer. A nice handful. You're going to need about a pound to a pound and a half of mozzarella or Italian cheese if you want to use that as another choice. Perfectly fine. Pat it down with your hand slightly. Now we're going to go ahead and beef it up. Same thing. I'm going to go ahead and do a nice layer of our beef. Essentially, this is going to be two layers of beef and three layers of cheese. So you want to make enough for that. The back end of the spoon. Just 
even it out. And you're going to repeat the process until the very top layer is just salsa, or not salsa, I'm sorry, the sauce, <laughs> and then the cheese. I'll be right back to show you how it's done. All right, the lasagna is done, and in the last 10 minutes, I took off the foil, left it under the broiler for about 10 minutes, made sure that everything was melted and nice and crisp, brought it out, and it's ready to be served. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you back the next time. Take care.